What's up guys, back again. Um, we've got the uh, new Maxton diffuser that's turned up today. I'm gonna be putting that onto the car today so we can roughly work out exactly what needs cutting off the uh, original bumper because there is a bit of a uh, modification required. Um, and we've got to get the standard exhaust off uh, so we can move everything about and put it so I know whereabouts the exhaust tips are gonna be exiting. Uh, then we're going to do a little bit of measuring again just to make sure I've got enough length on my tips that I'm going to be ordering to put on the car. Um, and then that's it, so we're going to jump straight in it. So here we go. <laughs> so uh, the first part to do is just remove this uh, exhaust part here, then remove the hangers all the way around to the back. And then it's drop the case of the uh, drop all the center uh, center pipe in the back box down, get it out of the way. So I'm going to undo this bolt here right now, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, now with this lot, I've undone them uh, two uh, exhaust clamps up the top there because we don't need both of those. There's two rubbers I've got to pull off, and there's one rubber here that just slides out. You have another rubber which is up here. Sorry. Oh, there it is. That needs to just come out. And then just unbolt these two over here. Now, they can be rusted quite a lot of the time, so just take your care of them. You don't want to snap them, otherwise you'll be in a little bit of bother. Other than that, we'll, uh, we'll get this bit off. Once we've got all those loosened off and all the rubbers uh, off the car, we will be able to pull on the centre pipe, get it out of the way, and uh, we should be good to go. Now we've got the uh, this is always hanger off. All I do with this one is, as I said, slide the screwdriver in there, pull it down so it loosens it to get over this lip, and then use a pry bar with the other hand to do that, and that pops it off the joints. Once you get it through, just over that top of that lip, it will pop off. You can use WD-40 in here to make it slide on and off easier. I haven't actually done that today, um, being a bit lazy. So, yep, one more to do. Uh, which is that center link there which is just a, a slide off one because obviously we had the um, main point of this center silencer took out um, so this is custom already someone's used a bit of a it looks like 12 mil thick to go on to there so I'm about to pop that off there and then we're going to give it a pull pop the exhaust off and that shouldn't be too long before we get it all off there we go exhaust off all the way through to the centre. Now that's the, the easy bit out of the way. Going to move that out of the way and then we're going to start unbolting the diffuser all along here. As the new one, this has got to be cut out here. So I might have to trim into the floor a little bit. It's only just this mating edge which uh, actually seals up here at the top edge, not down the bottom. So we'll see how that looks once we get this diffuser off and slide on the new one just to see how we go. So now the exhaust is off, we've got one thing I didn't measure yesterday, we've got our trusty calipers back again. I'm just going to measure the thickness of these, which I think is 12 mil. So as you can see it says 12.44 mil. That's 12 mil pipe. I'm just going to use, double check it against these centre ones. Let's see, 12 mil. So yeah, uh, we need to, to obviously replace these. Uh, these ones won't fit on the on the uh, aftermarket the exhaust that I'm going to build so I've got to change them so that's another thing I've got to order um, but now I know the size that's brilliant I can work that out and do that after offering this up to the car you can see it slots in there quite nicely one thing I've noticed is it does sit out a little bit in the corners and there is a tiny tiny gap the whole way around some people um, bond these onto the actual uh, current diffuser but what I'm going to do is take this diffuser off uh, cut the underplate and then check um, how how it works from there so we'll get the standard diffuser off and then we'll, then we'll change it and see <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see, we've got that off now. Uh, it's not too hard. There's a couple of bolts along the bottom edges, and then it was just a case of pulling it, and it slots out all of these little tabs that sit in here. Uh, I'm just going to try that one on now and see how we go. So here's our diffuser. Once you place it on, you can see you've got a really good fit now. Uh, it fits all the way into the corners up here. Uh, I've just obviously push that in a little bit better. Um, and the only little gap you're going to get is a tiny little bit up the top, which you'll never see anyway. The only thing is, as you can see here, is this is where the exhaust is going to be. Um, but there's little clips. I'm just going to undo those, take that rear trim panel off, and see where we are. A little bit of a change, we had to use the standard diffuser and cut it out because the centre bits here wouldn't actually have anything to locate to. As you can see, the bolt holes are slightly further in, which connect to this lower panel, but I'm still going to cut this lower panel out to give me room to get the exhaust through. So, I had to cut that out, that all fits fine now. Once it's on, you can't actually see the original diffuser. Um, Perfect! Got the splitter on now. Um, the fitment's pretty good. Uh, just needs obviously pulling down underneath just to neaten up the edges. I've just tacked it in with a little screw just to hold it onto the uh, diffuser underneath. And I see I've got the, got the inside ones cut out. Just got to cut out these inside bits, which are it's basically like a wind barrier at the back of the car. Uh, once they're cut out into the segments, we'll have enough room and clearance. Once I've done that. It's just a case of bonding it onto that rear diffuser and letting it dry where it is. Uh, all I'm going to do is pack it full of uh, a, a product called CT1 or Tiger Seal. Once it's on, just get some tape, tape it up down to the edges of the bumper and leave it to dry. And then that is the fitting of the diffuser done. all in now as you can see there's um, the actual bits that I've cut out inside there you can see I've left the middle tab on because I didn't want this little bit to have nothing to uh, connect to this little tab there which will screw through and once fitted you won't actually be able to see it there's enough room for the three inch exhaust so it's just a random off cut of three inch I've got as you can see it's, it's perfectly fine where it needs to be and then uh, that will get expanded into a four inch exhaust set from there and our Y piece will go all the way to the back so so yeah happy with that happy with the clearance worst case scenario I can just uh, fold up this little bit of metal if need to but I'm going to come underneath and have a slight up sweep to the tips anyway so yeah all in all good day now I've just got to bond this bit onto the vehicle so what we've done is we've obviously put the Maxon diffuser onto the bottom and then seal we're going to seal in between all these parts in here um, but one thing I wanted to keep was the uh, factory through the factory holes which you can see through there so the actual standard diffuser will screw back on using all the standard mounting holes and then this will be bonded on and I'm also going to drill a hole on each of this bit through the diffuser with some screws in and then up there so that will hold it on and there'll be two screws behind the number plate as well now the last thing we've got to check is just what angle i need these exhaust tips cut at um 
we've got a set of square here, uh, welder's right angle, whichever you want to call it, um, gives you one right angle and then the diagonal here is 45 degrees, so that's 90 degree, that's 45, so as you can see the tips of here are that big, once I get my angle in there it's pretty much in line with a 45 degree of a slight downward slope, which is fine because there is going to be a sort of 15 degree bend just underneath there just to clear uh, this metal bracket here so as you can see 45 degree cut on the tube will be right where it needs to be to sit nice and flush and then I can move it in and out depending where I want it to go so I've uh, tiger sealed the whole area I'm going to chuck some more on the underside of this before I chuck it on in this case of plonking it on I've got all my screw holes lined up so it should sit exactly where it was and then just leave it to uh, set so I'm going to do that now Finally got all the bumper back on. It's all bonded now. All I need to do is just remove all the silicon, and, um, not silicon, the, the, the protective layer that's on the thing, drive it off the ramps and leave it to dry for about 24 hours. So once I get it off the ramps and I've took all this off, I'll show you guys the end result. Well, we're all done with that. Um, it's all glued on now. We're just waiting for it to dry. I took the plastic film off around the outside because I wanted to see what it actually looked like as a final finish. I've left a bit on around the uh, exhaust tip here just because I'm going to be working on there in the next couple of days um, I'm just going to check some measurements underneath roll it off the ramps and that's that done for today so I've managed to get it all fitted and it's all just drying now so we've just got to wait for that to dry once it is dry we've just got to wait for the exhaust parts to turn up and then it's a case to start building it so that's pretty much today's episode over um, I'm really happy with the fitment and how it fitted on the car uh, there's not really anything too complicated about it as long as you just make sure you've got it all lined up before you stick the uh, the Tiger seal or CT1 or whichever sealant you want to use behind it. I uh, drilled one hole in the middle, put a self tapper in and then spent probably about 5-10 minutes just drilling the holes underneath and about 4 or 5 tap, um, screws go in there. I've also spoken to um, a company which is going to supply me the correct um, size tips cut at the right angle which is the 45 degree angle which you saw us um, fill out earlier and measure so yeah that's everything we've got to do today so hopefully you enjoyed it again uh, there'll be more updates probably in the next week or so so catch you again next time